for me not to have to carry everything. Normally I'm carrying everything by myself, but he's going to be the pack mule today. All I got to do is carry the camera. He's carrying all the guns and tripods and all that fun stuff. So I'm, I'm packed light today. So anyway, we've got a group of coyotes located uh, just to the north. Wind is out of the east, northeast. We're going to set up up here uh, right off the tree line and try to pull them into the open field. So Pretty clear morning, 60, 65 degrees, not much wind, so conditions couldn't be much better, but anyway, we're going to get set up before it gets too light. All right, after getting in here, the setup looks pretty good. We're kind of looking uphill a little bit, but it's not terrible. Calls behind us. Coyotes should be out here. Wind's blowing that way, should draw them right down here. Ideally, if they do what they're supposed to do, I should come right down that draw. I got all two guns ready to go. You ready? I'm ready. Exactly where I don't want him to be. We need to watch that edge hard. Get ready to shoot right off that edge. They pop out. You guys probably heard those coyotes answer. Pretty good group, adults and pups. We're gonna grab a call, grab our gear. We're actually gonna go back where we started from, where we parked the truck. Walk in a little bit different. Um, probably gonna end up doing a shotgun stand on that one. There's a fair chance we're gonna put them right in our lap. Hopefully we don't get busted getting in. The wind should be should be okay, but you know how that is. Anytime you get in those little isolated fields, we run the risk of swirling winds, which are the worst thing for us, but we're going to get to move on. Attempt number two. We're in a lot closer this time. And this could almost just be a shotgun stand, but we're going to do our best with a rifle. Show you what it looks like. Coyotes answer on the back side of that timber. So we got a real small pocket to pull them into, but we're going to give it a shot.
there still? Yeah, go ahead. Are you on him? Yep. I thought it looked like you hit him in the head or near the head. Ooh. Close enough to the head. Yep. <laughs> All we could see was his head. <laughs> right. We're lucky we got that one. So what happened here, I'll turn the camera around and point and show you guys. We initially were set up over here. We expected the coyotes to be off that side. Well, when we howled, the pair came out from over here and the wind... Um, was doing the opposite of what it was supposed to be doing was actually blowing this way so you can see that there's rise in the middle of that hill we couldn't see over it but we could see that half that half of the field this little field is about 100 yards across those coyotes came down the edge got down here in the corner winded us went back luckily we were we were able to stop them long enough to get you know ju get justin the shot so that uh first stand of the morning the old neck shot We'll take it. Joey trying to milk the video too long on the uh, first ones. I feel like they were pretty wide open <laughs> right off the bat. I was definitely trying to milk the video. It's become a bad habit. But it's early. It's not even, uh, I don't even think it's six o'clock yet. So we're going to pack up, head to spot number two and try to make a, make a morning of it. One right out of the gate. Next couple, your, next couple spots are promising. So right. this is your first daylight dog off this property, right? First time I've ever killed a daytime coyote here. We, we, uh, uh, we've killed a bunch of coyotes at night here, but uh, daytime seems like they've always been in the wrong spot to hunt them in the daytime, but they were almost in the wrong spot this almost. time. <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to pack up and get out of here.